Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating the part 2 of Christmas platformer in Scratch 3.2. So now let's get started. Foremost, we'll animate a player so the game feels fun and alive. So I have these costumes for our player which I drew using the Scratch Vector Editor. We'll use the frame by frame animation technique to make our game interesting. So first of all, what is frame by frame animation? It is a technique that creates the illusion of movement by making incremental changes between every keyframe. Frames refer to costumes in Scratch. So these are the costumes for a player which we will be using for the game. So in total there are 20. If you want to use them the link is given in the description. Now let's start with the code of the player. When the flag is clicked we will take from events. That means when the project is started we will take the block forever. We we'll go to looks and we'll take switch costume to nano b2 that means the first costume. Forever if we'll go to sensing key right arrow pressed then we'll wait for 0.01 seconds that means for a particular time. Uh, then we'll go to looks and we'll take the next costume block. If block Inside if we'll put the equals to sign in the first cell of equals to we'll put costume number equals to 1 then change this one to 18. If costume number 1 equals to 18 then switch costume to nano b2 that means the first costume. Now duplicate the script and change the key right arrow pressed to key left arrow pressed. Yes. Now we will go to the control section and we will take the if block. In the cell of if we will go to sensing and we will take the block key up arrow pressed. That means when we are jumping switch costume to nano b20 that means the jumping sprite. Play sound jump until done and these are the costumes for our platform and this is the backdrop. You can take them from the link given in the description. When the flag is clicked for the backdrop, forever, we'll start sound Christmas song until done. These are the trees that I took from internet and this is a snowflake. So we'll code for the snowflake. When the flag is clicked, we want it to fall down. So forever, go to X, pick random, the respective positions, wait for 0.1 seconds. Then we'll go to looks and we'll take the block. Set size to pick random, we'll duplicate it and put it in the cell. Pick random 20 to 25 percent. Now we'll go to controls and we'll take the block. Create clone of myself. So when I start as a clone, we'll paint a new sprite which will delete the clones of a snowflake. So you can take it any color, it just should be visible. This is a red line. We'll put it to the bottom of the screen. Yes. Now we'll code for it. When the flag is clicked, set ghost effect to 100. That means it won't be visible. It will be very transparent. So when I start as a clone, we'll go back to the code of snowflakes. Repeat until we'll go to sensing and we'll take touching snowflake clone delete turn towards the right one degrees or you can take it as many value as you want change y by minus 2 that means it will come downwards if block inside if block we'll put touching snowflake clone delete then delete this clone now we'll go back to the code of the player when the flag is clicked we'll make a new variable named lev ok set level to 1 in the beginning that means we'll start from level 1 forever if block we'll go to sensing and we'll take touching level changer then we'll take the block if and inside if we'll go to operators and we'll take equals to in the first cell of the equals to sign we'll put level if level equals to 1 then set 
लेवल टू जी चेंज दिस जीरो टू टू ब्रॉडकास्ट न्यू मैसेज नेम्ड लेवल टू When I receive level two for the player, go to the respective positions. Now we'll code for the platforms. When the flag is clicked, switch costume to level one in the beginning. We'll go to variables and we'll take set level to one. Now we'll go to controls and we'll take the forever. Inside forever, we'll put if and the cell of if block. We'll take touching level changer then. If level equals to one, then switch costume to level one, and if level equals to two, switch costume to level two. Now we'll code for the gift, which will act as a collectible. So we'll take when the flag is clicked, we'll go to looks, and we'll take show block. That means it will show in the big. If keep, and then if level equals to one, then go to X and Y respective positions. When the flag is clicked, forever. If block, if touching player, then start sound collect. New variable we'll create named gifts. Change gifts by one. Now we'll duplicate the sprite for the second gift. We'll remove this code, and we'll add some new code, which will act as level two gift. Now we can start our project. So if you like the project don't forget to like share and subscribe for more such videos don't forget to put the notification bell on bye meet you next time